perhaps the most important mathematician that you've never heard of. Amelie Emmy Noether was an influential German mathematician who made innovative contributions to abstract algebra and theoretical physics. Highly regarded by researchers like Pavel Alexandrov, Albert Einstein, Jean D. Udon, Hermann Weyl, and Norbert Wiener, she is often described as the most important woman in mathematics. Albert Einstein called her the most significant creative mathematical genius thus far produced since the higher education of women began. Noter was born to a middle-class Jewish family in Germany, the daughter of another notable mathematician, Max Noter. She set out to become a language teacher with a focus on English and French, but while studying at the university where her father taught, she developed a great aptitude and interest in math. Women were not allowed to enroll in universities, but could audit courses with permission of the professor and Noter audited courses in mathematics at the University of Erlangen. Between 1902 and 1904 she did the same at University of Göttingen, where she studied with David Hilbert and Felix Klein, two of the most influential mathematicians of the time. In 1904, Erlangen changed the rules to allow women to matriculate and Noter returned there to become one of two women among thousands of male students. She was awarded a PhD, summa cum laude, in 1907. Even with a PhD women were not allowed to teach at universities, but Noter remained at Erlangen as an unpaid researcher, taught some of her father's classes and advised his doctoral students. She was offered a position at the University of Göttingen, but the faculty of the philosophy department which housed the mathematics studies objected to a female lecturer. Noter's colleagues tried to get her a paid teaching position at Göttingen. Hilbert fought for her, telling the administration. I do not see that the sex of the candidate is an argument against her. After all, we are a university, not a bathhouse. But he was unsuccessful and she remained an unpaid guest lecturer on Hilbert's staff for many years. Finally, in 1922, she became an associate professor without tenure and earned a small salary. Her brilliance attracted gifted math students from all over Europe who became known as Noter's Boys. Unfortunately, her research was published under the names of colleagues and students rather than her own. Noter's theorem also solved the worrying puzzle in general relativity that she had initially set out to solve. Her theorem shows that if matter and gravity are considered to be one unified quantity rather than separate quantities, then there is no violation of any conservation law. Yesterday, I received a very interesting paper on invariance from Miss Noter. I'm impressed that these things can be seen in such a general way. It would do the old guard at Göttingen no harm to be sent back to school under Miss Noter. She knows her stuff. The New York Times wrote in 2012 that in terms of mathematics, Noter's theorem is as important as Einstein's theory of relativity. During the years 1928 to 1929, Noter became a guest lecturer at the University of Moscow. She taught at the University of Frankfurt in 1930. In 1932, Noter was awarded the Ackermann Teudner Memorial Prize in Mathematics. She was then asked to give the plenary lecture at the International Mathematics Congress in Zurich. It would be almost 60 years before another woman had this opportunity. Things were looking up. In 1933, when the Nazis rose to power in Germany and issued decrees barring Jews from holding university positions, Noter moved to the U.S. with the help of Einstein and others and took a position in the mathematics department at Bryn Mawr College until her death in 1935 at the age of 53. 
Her mathematician brother, Fritz, also fled Germany in the 1930s. He moved to the Soviet Union to take a position at the University of Tomsk. In 1937, he was arrested by police and accused of being a spy for Germany and of being an anti-Soviet agitator. He was sentenced to death and executed by firing squad in 1941. Noter became an important figure in the understanding of algebra, and even her contemporaries recognized her brilliance in proving theorems in the field. Her contributions changed a number of long-held understandings in algebra, rings, and fields, and were crucial in physics, especially her theorem on the basic correlation between symmetry and conservation. Noter's work is divided into three epochs, each with major importance to various fields. The first, which includes her work from 1907 to 1919, primarily involved differential and algebraic invariants, and her pivotal work in physics, her two Noter's theorems. The second epoch, developed between 1920 and 1926, involves her theory of mathematical rings. In the third epoch, formed from 1927 to 1935, Noter focused on three distinct areas of mathematics, non-commutative algebra, linear transformations, and commutative number fields. Noter never married as she was passionate only about mathematics. She had many friends who were colleagues and fellow mathematicians. In 1935, just two years after moving to Pennsylvania, Noter was admitted to a local hospital in Pennsylvania to treat an ovarian cyst. She died a few days after the operation. Noter was 53 years old. Albert Einstein was a huge fan of Noter's approach to math. In a touching obit he wrote for her in the New York Times in 1935, he said. In the judgment of the most competent living mathematicians, Emmy Noter was the most significant creative mathematical genius thus far produced since the higher education of women began. In the realm of algebra, in which the most gifted mathematicians have been busy for centuries. She discovered methods which have proved of enormous importance in the development of the present-day younger generation of mathematicians. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week. Thank you.